perfect. That's exactly what Bimo needed. There, Bing, Jake, I have fixed the record player. Yay, Bimo! Whoa, nice job, Bimo. That's even better than the old one. Yeah, that's awesome. What say we do a little dance and celebrate our first four successful investigations? That's a great idea. I think we should start by playing my favorite record, the one mom and dad used to play for me. Where'd you put it, Bimo? I have it right here, Finn. Don't worry, I kept it very safe, and I cleaned it up just for you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's spin that puppy. Here we go. Yay! Thanks, Patty! Um, there is actually music on your favorite record, right? Bimo, when you cleaned the record, what did you do? I noticed that the record was very bumpy, so I fixed it with sandpaper. It's now smooth as a Bimo's bottom. Yay, Bimo! You did what? Bimo, the bumpy parts are what hold all the music and stuff. Without those, the record won't play. Oh, no. Bimo has really messed things up. I'm sorry, Finn. That's OK, Bimo. You were only trying to help. But man, what are we going to do, Jake? That record was a reminder of how Mom and Dad raised me after they found me in the woods. I love that record. Don't worry, buddy. We'll think of some. Hmm. Jake, I don't know if I can concentrate on another case right now. I don't know, man. Check this out. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. That's weirdly specific. Yeah, but it must mean there's a way to fix the record. What should we do first? Hmm. Well, let's start by taking the record to Marceline. She helped us the last time we had a musical problem. Maybe she knows what we have to do to fix it. Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Back from the fire kingdom. What a mess that was. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, PD's latest thought. Finn and Jake investigations. Now, those two have solved some cases for sure, but they've made some folks mighty angry. Anonymous caller who says he's very unhappy with Finn and Jake investigations and has taken one of Finn's favorite. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. Yeah, you got that right. Marceline, we've got another musical problem and we need your help. Oh, no. Magic Man's not gonna make us dance again, is he? Because that got old really fast. No, it's way worse. Bimo wrecked my favorite record. He sanded off all the grooves and now it won't play. <laughs> is that all? That's no problem. You can fix that. You just have to get your groove back, so to speak. How do I do that? Well, it's not easy, but I can help. First, you're gonna have to get your hands on some pretty rare equipment. Here's a list of what you need. The epic microphone of crooning? Is that some kind of special microphone? Yes, it's charged with powerful magical energy. It senses the emotions of whoever's making the recording and transforms the performance into whatever epic music you can imagine. Cables of insulation? You mean we need special cables to make this work? To make a perfect recreation of Finn's record, we'll be using a lot of magic. A normal cable would just melt. Cables of insulation are magically insulated so that spell energy and music can flow through them together without everything going up in smoke. A reel-to-reel -reel recorder? Can't we just use the cassette recorder we normally use when we jam out? Not reel-to-reel, reel-to-reel. -reel. It's a rare magical tape recorder. It magically mixes any musical sound into an exact copy of whatever song you're trying to make. No matter what the real music sounds like, the recording is always perfect. With a little work, I can rig it to record the music on a record. I guess it's shopping time! Where can we get all this stuff? Well, it's all magic, so you'll have to go to Wizard City. Marceline, we can't go to Wizard City. They won't let us in like last time. Bimo used that ultimate wizard disc thingy to rebuild our record player. Yeah, the wizard police would just turn us into sticks. Don't worry, I got you covered. 
Forest Wizard owed me a favor. He never gave me back the potion distiller I lent him. To apologize, he gave me some day pass charms for Wizard City. I'll cast two on you before you leave. Word. Thanks, Marceline. No problem. Once you get all the stuff, come back to me and I'll tell you what we need to do next. Hey, wizards only f Oh, sorry. I see your day pass enchantments are in order. Move along, have a nice day. Cool, thanks man. Sure, I guess a broom could come in handy at some point. A happy little snail. Yeah, I'll just take that coin. Finders keepers. You got a crowbar, and the sign makes sense now. Win win. Sup, Bufo? What you doing? Selling stuff? Of course I am! What does it look like? And sorry, sorry, I'm under a lot of stress. Please, take a look around and let me know if you have any questions. So, looks like some kind of tape recorder there. Better than that, it's a rare reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Best magic recorder there is. Works like it was brand new. It's yours for the low, low price of 50 wizard coins. Finn, that's just what we need. But there's no way we can afford that. What about that charger-looking thing? What's the story on that? That is a state-of-the-dark arts magical item charger. You can recharge wands, magic swords, anything that runs on magic. It's a fixer-upper, so I could probably let it go for a mere 30 wizard coins. It's kind of pricey for a piece of junk that doesn't work. How about magical cables? Got any of those? Sorry, afraid not. We're in the market for a special microphone. The epic microphone of crooning. Do you have one? Oh, I'm sorry. I did have one, but I sold it to Ron James earlier today. You snooze, you lose. Yeah, so we're interested in your stuff, but we're sort of, kind of, um... Broke. We're pretty much doshed out. I see. Well, I'm always willing to negotiate a fair price, but I can't come down too much. We all need money. Yeah, about that. Why does a super powerful wizard like you need to sell junk for extra scratch? I lost my secret society pendant. Until I can afford to replace it, I am banished from the secret society of wizards. Man, that stinks. Well, if we come up with some money or something, Jake and me would be happy to help you out and buy your stuff. Okay, but the merchandise is moving fast. You better act quickly. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll be here whenever you come back. If you're not here to buy something, I really don't have time to talk. There's not a body in there. It's a battery for something. Hope it's not a dead battery. Could be because, you know, it's in a coffin. Hmm. Marceline said we needed a special cable for our recording. All I found is an old battery cable. Oh well, I'll take it anyway. I bet this cable will work great for our recording. Funny the amount of useful stuff we found laying around lately. Welcome back, brothers. What kind of magic biz y'all's up to today? We're making a record, and our friend Marceline said that we need some magical recording equipment. You sell that stuff? Magical tunes. Nice. What do you need? We have a list. Marceline said that we need a special magical tape recorder. 
Do you have one of those? A reel-to-reel -reel recorder? No, man. I don't carry those. They're really, really rare. But there's gotta be one or two floating around somewhere in town. There are a lot of wizards that are way into awesome audio. How about a magic microphone? You have one of those? You're in luck! I just picked up a really sweet one. The epic microphone of crooning. It's top of the line in magic microphones. Dude, that's the one Marceline said we need. We gotta get that. Bummer is, it's lost its magical charge. I couldn't in good conscience sell you an uncharged magic microphone. Well, that kind of works out, because we probably don't have enough money to buy one at the moment. Marceline said we need some kind of special cable to hook everything up. Got any of that? Nah, that specialized magic audio cable is way too expensive, brah. Truth? Any heavily insulated magical cable can be used instead of actual cable of insulation. That kind of cable is just laying around in Wizard City all over the place. Looks like all I've got that you need is the microphone. And like I said, it ain't charged. And like you said, you don't have enough money to buy it anyway. Oh man, we really need that microphone. Can we make some kind of deal? Hmm. Well, an uncharged microphone ain't gonna sell anyway. And getting it recharged is a problem. Magic Mike's charge shop got raided by the wizard Popo yesterday and all his stuff got seized. I'd ask him to help me out anyway, but you know, he's a stick now. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. If I had a magical charger, I could start offering charging services. I'd be the only one in town doing it. We're talking some major wizard coin. Tell you what. If you guys can find me a working magical charger, the epic microphone of crooning, it's yours. I'd even throw in a free charge. What do you say? I say we're gonna go out and find you a magical charger. Thanks, Ron James. We'll see you soon. Happy to help. Feel free to browse. I might not have everything you need, but I always encourage impulse buying. One wizard coin, huh? Not much you can buy in here for that. Oh, hey, you can have that pendant over there. I don't know what it is. I found it after somebody broke into the shop a few days back. Somebody must have dropped it. You've made a wise purchase, I guess. Wonder if this pendant is like the one Bufo was saving for. So, think we could do a trade for this? What the? My secret society pendant! You found it! So, can we maybe trade the pendant for... Take it! Take all of this junk! It's yours! I've gotta go! Guys! Guys! I have my pendant! Don't start the next meeting without me! Man, that is one happy wizard. Yeah, and he gave us stuff! Algebraic! <laughs> nice! Looks like the charger needs to have a battery connected to it. Let's get it working and take it back to Ron James's shop. The only thing better than cool stuff is free cool stuff. There, the magical charger thing is as good as new. You found a working magical charger! Powerful one too, yo! It charged the epic microphone of crooning without even attaching it! Here's your microphone, all charged and ready to go. Thanks, guys! Epic microphone of crooning, reel-to-reel -reel recorder, and some super insulated magic cable. I think we got everything we need, Jake. Awesome, dude. We'll get that record of yours fixed in no time. Let's take everything back to Marceline's house and find out what we have to do next. All right, Marceline, we got all the magic recording equipment you asked for. Are we ready to start fixing my record now? <laughs> no, silly. We've still got a long way to go. We've got the hardware we need, but we still need to put together a band to jam out and make the music. 
But we don't know any bands. Not any good ones, anyway. That's one of the reasons we're using magical recording equipment, Jake. It makes anything sound good. There are plenty of crappy bands out there who only avoid sounding like total butt through the magic of awesome recording equipment. Okay. Who should we get to be in the band? Well, I'll play bass, of course, because I'm awesome at it. We just need to figure out what other sounds we need and which four people we're going to recruit. Well, we're definitely going to need drums. Totally. That should be easy. Simon is a wicked good drummer, plus he has his own drum kit. That will be easy. Ice King always wants to do stuff with Jake and me. Yeah, but remember, last time we saw him, we kind of put him in a super depressed mood. Kinda on purpose. Well, I guess you guys will have to find a way to deal with that before you can get him to join. We're gonna need some high-end sound. You know, as a counterpoint to your tasty bass licks. Yeah, definitely. Hmm... How about Lemon Grab? That sword thing of his makes a sound that is about as high-end as you can get. It's not really an instrument, but I think it'll work. Lemon Grab doesn't play well with others, even in the best times. Which these are not. Last time we were at his castle, there was, uh, an incident. Several, if we're being honest. You need to find some way to get him to agree to join us, guys. I just know that sword sound is perfect for the mix. Ah, <sighs> we'll do what we can. Okay, what's next on the list? Whoa, 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 slow down, Finn. You've already got your work cut out for you. Why don't you go ahead and recruit Simon and Lemon Grab for now? When you're done, come back here and we'll figure out who's next. Sounds like a plan. Come on, Jake. First stop, the Ice Kingdom. Um, hey, Ice King. What's up? Oh, hey, guys. Look, uh, we just want to apologize. Apologize? Why? You weren't the ones who wrecked my crib. That was Lumpy Space Princess. Huh? Oh, the mess. We thought you might still be depressed because of the whole princess dumping you and us messing with you about it thing. You're gonna have to be more specific, Jake. That princess dumping me, people making fun of me stuff is kind of an everyday thing for me. Kind of all runs together after a while. Oh, well, um, moving on then. So, you're upset because of what LSP did to your place? Yeah, man, look at it. I might be a lonely, pathetic bachelor, but I got standards. This place is nasty, and half of my cool stuff is all donked up. So, we're putting together an awesome band, and we thought we'd ask you to be our drummer. What do you say? Oh, man, that sounds great. But I can't do it, not now. I'm totally out of shape, and my drum kit is wrecked. Oh, out of shape. What are you talking about? You're, um, looking buff, man. Ah, oh, you're just saying that because you're my bro for life. But I'm a mess, man. LSP took a piece from my weight set and I can't work out. My wicked abs have turned into wicked flabs. No way I can play the skins when I'm this out of shape. What's wrong with your drums? I have no idea what LSP was doing to them while I was away, but they were super nasty when I got back. They were covered in food and all kinds of stuff. Didn't even know what half of it was. I cleaned them up as best I could, but one of the symbols is missing. And it's the best one! I could never get my percussion groove on without my favorite symbol. We can help you, Ice King. We'll make your weight bench and drums good as new. Yeah, and if we do, will you join our band? Sure, totally. I can get back into shape in no time. All right, Ice King. Your turbros are on the case. Dude, if you like dirty plates so much, I could stop doing the dishes back at the treehouse. Hey, check it out! The dirty plate wasn't a symbol of lazy housekeeping. It was an actual symbol! There! 
Good as new. Never know when you might need a blowtorch, I guess. I think I've seen this snail before. Hey, Gunter, check it out! A bottle! Why? Trade you the bottle for the broom? Why? That penguin sure loves breaking bottles. Gunter likes bottles better than brooms anyway. Weird. Who'd freeze a saw into a wall of ice? <laughs> and now the ninja broom is a wooden pole. Awesome, I guess. That broomstick will make an okay replacement for the missing bar, I guess. For a while, anyway. Okay, Ice King, your weight bench and drums are fixed. Still want to be in the band? Do I? <laughs> Just you try and stop me. Uh, but don't really try and stop me, because I want to be part of your thing, whatever it is. I just like being included in things, you know, from time to time. He's bumming me out, dude. Um, okay then. You work out or whatever you need to do, and we'll see you at the treehouse in a few hours. Roger that. I'll be there. Gunter, bring me my tubby day spandex sweats. It's time for a turbo workout. I got flab to burn. Quack, quack. Dude, I can't watch that. Let's head over to Castle Lemon Grab and figure out how we're going to get him to come and annoy us at our house, too. Hmm. Lemon Grab isn't here. Probably just as well. I mean, what are we gonna do to convince him to come to the treehouse and be in the band? We're not exactly on friendly terms. Yeah, I guess the only thing we can do is trick him somehow. We have to think of something that will get him worked up and make him want to come to our place. I got it. Lemon Hope. We can tell him that Lemon Hope is hiding out at our place. That'll definitely get his attention. Yeah, but he's never going to believe us. He has trust issues. What if we showed him Lemon Hope's musical instruments? Playing music was what Lemon Grab hated most about Lemon Hope. Yeah, good idea. Let's look around. Maybe Lemon Hope left an extra harp and flute around here somewhere. And if not, maybe we can make some fake ones that'll trick Lemon Grab. The pipes are loose, but not that loose. I'm going to need a way to loosen them if I want to take them. Never hurts to have some extra string handy for craft projects and stuff. And now, I have some ripped up strips of cloth. Cool, I guess. Looks like Lemon Grab is rebuilding his reconditioning chamber. Probably started right after we wrecked it. Yeah, I don't think he knows any other way to control his peeps. Let's look around. Maybe there's something in here we can use. Never know when you might want to make holes in something. Good thinking. Never know when you'll need a wrench. I don't think a drill is going to help me remove the switch. Pretty nice screwdriver. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. There. Once again, Lemon Grab won't be able to use his reconditioning chamber. Plus, I have a cool looking switch. Sweet! Now I have two iron pipes, a long one and a short one. It kind 
still looks like Lemon Hope's flute now. But there's still something missing. Nice job, dude. Looks just like Lemon Hope's flute. That'll totally fool Lemon Grab. Nice. It looks just like the frame of Lemon Hope's harp. Check it out, Jake. Lemon Grab will totally think this is Lemon Hope's harp. Okay, we have a harp and a flute. That ought to convince Lemon Grab that Lemon Hope is hiding out at our place. Now all we have to do is find Lemon Grab. Let's go check the throne room. He hangs out there a lot. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Lemon Grab? How's it going? You! You have returned! I am still making repairs on the damage you did last time you were here! Your presence is unwelcome! And unacceptable! Yeah, well, sorry we messed up your castle, Earl. But we have some news that will make you really happy. Well, if that's even possible, that is. What is this news of which you speak? We know where you can find Lemon Hope. He's hanging out at our treehouse, and he totally wants you to stop by and talk. Hmm. And I should very much like to talk to him as well. But you have proven yourselves untrustworthy. I would require proof that Lemon Hope is at your house. You got it. Check it out, Lemon Hope's harp. <laughs> the evil, evil harp that caused so much pain to my sensitive lemon ears. It hurts just to look at it. Here's Lemon Hope's flute. Nobody has a flute quite like this one. Yes, that appears to be his flute. His harp music offended my lemon sensibilities. However, the flute music was very cacophonous and therefore quite restful. Your evidence is compelling, and I now believe that the fugitive Lemon Hope is being harbored illegally in your home. I must prepare proper punishment for both Lemon Hope and those who would protect him. That's cool. Hey, wait, what? Now leave me. I will go now and tune the vibrations of my sound sword to optimum screech. When I have completed this task, I shall come to your tree dwelling and unleash the proper punishment on all who deserve it. I will then return Lemon Hope to his proper place here in a locked room of my castle. Okay, later. Jake, he totally bought it. Yeah, I can't say I'm too crazy about all that punishment talk, though. All that matters is that he'll be there waving around that sound sword and making noise, just like we need him to be. We can worry about the rest later. Come on, let's head back to Marceline's and find out who else we need to recruit to finish off the band. All right, Marceline. Ice King is on the drums, and Lemon Grab is heading to the treehouse with his sound sword. Probably with the intention of using it on us. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Cool. Now we just need a keyboard player and a singer. So, where do we get a keyboard and who's going to play it? We're in luck there. Princess Bubblegum says we can use her science keyboard no problem. And she's a good musician, but she can't be the one who plays it. Huh? Why not? Bonnabelle's inspiration comes from her brain, which is great for science stuff, but not so much for music. Good music comes from the heart. And the best music comes from a broken heart. That's what we're gonna need if we're gonna make your record work again. Hey Finn, maybe we should get Flame Princess to play the keyboard. She broke your heart big time. Huh? What? No! I... What are you talking about? I'm not... She... Uh... <laughs> yeah, sounds like Flame Princess will be perfect. You can never have too much heartbreak in a song. Okay, fine. But I don't even know if Flame Princess knows how to play. Guess we'll find out. Hey, wait. Why do we need a singer? It's all about the magical mixing. We just need the right amount and tone of input noise to make the mix work perfectly. Well, if it's noise we're after, we should definitely get Lumpy Space Princess to sing for us. She's terrible. Yeah, but she's also mad at us. 
We messed up her chance to have her own kingdom, remember? Oh, yeah. Hey, if you guys can convince the Earl of Lemongrab to join the band, you can convince LSP. She might be grumpy, but there's nothing she likes better than the sound of her own voice. I'm sure you can pull it off. Hey, how come Princess Bubblegum's hanging around? She looks kind of upset. Oh, it's something about her clothes or something. For somebody who rules one of the biggest kingdoms in all of Ooh, she gets hung up on the silliest things sometimes. Mm, you should talk to her if you're worried about it. I'm not much on the whole fashion thing. Okay, Marceline. We'll do our best to get Flame Princess and LSP to join the band. Once they're in, are we ready to fix my record? Yep. I'll take the equipment over to the treehouse and wait for you there. After everything's set up and everyone gets there, we'll make your record good as new. Algebraic! Come on, Jake. First stop, the Fire Kingdom. Uh, maybe we should talk to PB first. I don't want her to be so upset that she won't let us use her science keyboard. Yeah, I guess you're right. The record can wait until we fix PB's problem. Hey, PB. Marceline said something's up. Yes, something is definitely up. I sent all of my new outfits off to the dry cleaning kingdom, and they were supposed to come back today. But Magic Man thought it would be fun to intercept my delivery and scatter my clothes all over Ooh. That explains it. I was wondering why you were dressing so retro here lately. Oh, man. I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with Magic Man again for a while. You don't. He lost interest and went away. And I found most of my stuff. I'm only missing three outfits now. Marceline won't help me because she thinks I'm silly to worry about stuff like this. She does have a point. Yeah, but if it's important to you, it's important to us. Jake and me will keep an eye out and find your missing outfits, PB. Thanks, Finn. You're the best. Glad we still got a little of that flame shield spell left over from last time we were in the Fire Kingdom. It's almost back up to normal temperature again. Yeah, it's pretty hot. We shouldn't waste any time. Um, hi, Flame Princess. Hey, Finn. What's up? You sound a little down. What's wrong? It's nothing. What did you want to talk about? Well, it's kind of a long story. See, I had this favorite record, and BMO, we... We want you to play keyboard in our band. Will you do it? Really? Me? Well, I did take lessons as a little girl, but I haven't played in a really long time. I doubt I'd be any good. I can't even inspire the people of the Fire Kingdom to follow my leadership. And that's my job. No way! I bet you'd be awesome! I don't think so, Finn. Playing keyboards was never anything but a hobby. Sorry, I just know I'd wreck your band like I'm wrecking the Fire Kingdom. You just got confidence issues, that's all. I bet your people appreciate you way more than you think. You're not a total tyrant like your dad was. No offense. None taken. My dad is a complete donkus when it comes to ruling. But I don't know. What if Jake and me prove that your people have confidence in you? Would you join the band then? I guess so, but how would you prove that? It'll be easy. What's not to love about you? Um, I mean, your leadership and all. You just wait here. We'll get back to you. What do you have in mind, Finn? Thank you notes always feel good. Let's go around and get people to write notes to Flame Princess to say how much they appreciate her. That'll boost your confidence big time. Sounds like a plan. Hey, a happy little snail. They're trying to steal our inspiring portrait of Flame Princess! Get them! Yeah! Huh! <laughs> 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 
our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. Jeez, there was no need for all the fighting. I was just gonna borrow it for a while. Check it out! One of PB's missing outfits was nailed to the wall behind the painting. Good eye, Finn. PB will be happy to get that back, I bet. You two again! I heard you came back. You're not gonna leave this kitchen until you clean up that mess you made before when you blew up my firebone soup. I want to disagree, but he's right. It's our mess. We should clean it up. Guess it's okay for us to use this mop. I don't think so. That's right. Put your back into it. This stuff mops up surprisingly well. Yeah, but it's burning the mop down to a stick. All right. I'm satisfied. Thanks for your cooperation. Flame burn out. Ow! Oh yeah, right. Not cool. Here, boy! Want the stick? Go get it! <laughs> Firewolves sure like chasing stuff. And they're not too bright. I didn't even throw it. Whatevs. He'll be busy for a while trying to find it. Youch! That's one hot lump of coal. Hey, Flambo! You like having Flame Princess in charge, right? Sure! Things just way better here with her running a joint. So, how about writing a note to thank her for being an awesome ruler? It'd really help to cheer her up and boost her confidence. Sure, uh, but I need something from you first. <sighs> what do you need? I used up all my coal when we went through that cool down last time you were here. I want to have some more on hand in case things get cold again sometime. Give me some hot coals and I'll write that note for you. Okay, we'll see what we can find. That's what I'm talking about! That much hot coal will keep me warm through anything but a total deep, deep freeze. Here's my thank you note. Hope it helps. Mathematical! Nice! Hey, Cinnamon Bun, we need your help. Hey, Finn. Sure, I'll help you. You've helped me and Flame Princess a lot. Flame Princess is feeling a little down. And we're trying to get people to write thank you notes to tell her what a great leader she is. You know, to boost her confidence. That's a great idea! She has been kind of down, and that makes me sad. But I don't know if I can do that. I can only write when I have inspiration. Otherwise, my words don't come out too good. Inspiration, huh? Hmm, well, we'll see what we can find to get those creative juices flowing. Hey, Cinnamon Bun! How's this for inspiration? <gasps> Flame Princess! Yes, she inspires me to be better. Hang on. All done. Here's my note. Gotta hand it to him. CB's a fast writer when he's inspired. Thanks, Cinnamon Bun. Now we have to talk to some more people in the kingdom. I don't think two thank you notes will be enough to boost Flame Princess's confidence. Oh, that reminds me. I have this stack of thank you notes that I've been meaning to give to the princess. You mean people have already been writing her thank you notes? Oh yeah, for months and months. The people like her are way better than her mean old father. I just keep forgetting to give them to her. Would have been nice to know that before. Never mind. Thanks, Cinnamon Bun. You've been a real help. No problem, Finn. See you later. Algebraic! Sweet! Hey, Flame Princess, check these out. <gasps> Thank you notes. Hundreds of them from people all over the Fire Kingdom. See? You don't have to worry. People think you're an awesome leader. Wow. I guess so. So how about it? Want to come and play keyboard in our band? Please? Well, I guess if I can do such a good job ruling the Fire Kingdom, playing the keyboard again after all these years should be a snap. Sure, I'll do it. Awesome. We're meeting at the treehouse in a little while. We'll see you there. Where are you going now? To the forest. We have a singer to recruit. Oh man, 
Looks like Lumpy Space Princess is living in the woods again. She's not gonna be happy with us. It's gonna be tough to talk LSP into singing for our band. What with us getting her kicked out of the Ice Kingdom and all. Hey, LSP, how's it going? How's it going? How do you think it's going? Thanks to you, instead of running my own kingdom with my prince at my side, I'm back living in the Lumpin' Woods. Prince? What prince? None of your business, Jake. Now, why are you guys bugging me? Um, well, we, um... See, we're putting together a band to record my favorite record, and we're hoping maybe you'd help us out and be our singer? Your singer? You have some serious lumps asking me to help you after all you did to me? No way! Yeah, well, we're sorry about that. But you see, um, it's... Your fans! It, it, it's your fans, LSP! They are demanding a performance! They are? <clears throat> I mean, they are! They totally are! Oh my glob, I have fans? What am I saying? Of course I have fans! I probably have, like, a whole lumpen fan club. Absolutely you do! She does? <clears throat> um, yeah, you totally do. Okay, I can't let my fans down. You get them all together, and I'll make the big announcement of my comeback tour. But I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for them. You lump it, got me? Yeah, totally. Okay, you should gather all of my fans in the tree stump clearing in a little while when everyone is ready. I'll make my big announcement then. Oh my god, this is so exciting! See? She's totally on board. Easy peasy. Yeah, except for the part where LSP doesn't actually have a fan club. Guess we'll just have to convince a couple of people to pretend to be fans. I'm sure we can handle that. We've been through a lot worse today. Nice. Bucket and some rope. I'm sure nobody was using that well anyway. Tree Stump, how's it going? You again. You already ripped the flower off my head and turned me into a cannibal by making me eat apple pie. What now? I mean, seriously, bro. There's pretty much no other horrible thing you could do to me at this point. Um, we just want you to pretend to be a fan of Lumpy Space Princess's singing. What? And I was wrong. You heard LSP sing? That's like a horrifying prospect. But... Seriously. You got any more apple pie? Because I'd rather be a cannibal! No, you don't have to listen to her sing. You just have to pretend you're a fan and you want to hear her sing. Yeah, the singing will happen somewhere else, we promise. Hmm, that's okay, I guess. But there's still all the nasty stuff you did to me. Especially the flower. I love that flower and you ripped it right off. I mean, those things don't grow on trees, man. Well, I guess they do, but you know what I mean. What about if we made it up to you somehow? Did something nice for you? Then would you help us? I guess so. But it would have to be really nice. Not make me throw up. Deal. We'll figure something out. And we'll do it quick. LSP is going to be here any minute. Seriously? You set this up before you even ask me? I gotta tell you, bro. You're not off to a good start on the whole doing something nice thing. I'm gonna boo her so bad if you screw up. Like, seriously bad. You won't believe it. No, no, no need for that. We'll do something really nice for you, promise. Now you just stay here. We'll be back soon. I'll be rooted to this spot. Ha ha ha, get it? Cause I'm a... Yeah, never mind, just go. You should really ask permission before you take any of Tree Trunk's flowers. Well, hello, boys. Nice to see you again. Hi, Tree Trunks. Sorry to bother you, but we need your help. 
Oh, it's never by the fin. You boys are always there for me, so I'm always here for you. What can I do for you? Do you think we could borrow your gardening spade for a little while? Why, that would be just fine. I just planted some brand new flower seedlings this morning, but I'm done gardening now. Would it be okay if we took one of your flower seedlings? I suppose that would be fine. Um, just make sure you plant it in a pot or something with a good handful of dirt, and it should grow up nice and pretty for you. So, tree trunks. You know Lumpy Space Princess? Oh, yeah. I don't really much care for her. Truth be told, she really can run off at the mouth something fierce and always being so mean and nasty to people. Yeah, that's her all right. See, we need LSP to be the singer in this band we're putting together to re-record my favorite record. We kind of told her she had a fan club, only she doesn't, so we need people to pretend to be your fans. Well, you boys are always doing stuff for me when I need help. I guess the least I can do is pretend to like Lucky Spice Princess singing for a little bit. I mean, how bad could it be anyway? Best not to dwell on that. Cool, thanks for helping us out, Tree Trunks. We'll see you when we have the rest of the fake fan club together. We'll meet you at the tree stump clearing later. All right, boys, see you later. Sure was nice to Tree Trunks to let you borrow her gardening spade. You're gonna have to plant that seedling in something so it doesn't die off. Dig with my hands? No way. That's what shovels or gardening spades are for. Good digging. That's some nice dirt you got there, dude. Actually, I don't know why you weren't carrying the dirt in the bucket the whole time. Might not be a real flower pot, but I'm sure the seedling will grow to a big, beautiful flower in there. There you go, Tree Stump. What do you think? Oh, yay! It's a... Oh, wait. That's actually pretty nice. Wow, thanks. So, are we good? Will you pretend to be a groupie? Why not? I got a pretty flower on my head again. It's all good. Great, because here they come. Ben. Ben? Lumpin introduced me. Right. Ahem. <clears throat> Ladies and, um, elephants and tree stumps? Here to announce her comeback tour, I give you... Lumpy Space Princess! Yay, Lucky Spice Princess, woo! Yeah, woo! All right. Oh my glob! Thank you! Thank you everybody so much! Do you think she notices she only has two fans? Shh. Well, like he said, spoiler alert, by the way, Ben. I'm announcing my comeback tour! I'll be doing a private recording session today, but I'll have my tour dates and my new album release really, really soon. Yay! Whoa. And, what the heck, since you're my most loyal fans, you all get a copy of my album for a discounted price autograph extra. Yay! Whoa. Sorry to cut this short, but I gotta run off to my recording session. You guys are great. Bye! Yay. Whoa! Phew. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. Well, me and Jacob got to run. We have a record to make. Thanks a lot, ladies. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Of course. Nice fishing pole, dude. You snagged it, dude. PB's gonna be happy to get that back. 
even if it is covered in nasty cave water. Thank you for finding all my missing outfits, Finn. After I have everything re-cleaned, I can finally change out of this old dress. Sorry to put you guys through all that trouble. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And what we gotta do now is make a record. Yeah, boy! Is everything ready? All the equipment is set, and everybody's on the way to the treehouse. We're good to go. Then I guess it's recording time. Okay, Finn. You ready for this? Totally. Let's do it. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Hey, quiet. Hey. Quiet. Thank you. All right, everybody. We're ready to start. Reel to reel on. Reel to reel on. Turntable to maximum spin. Roger that. Band ready. Keyboards ready. Ready on the skins. Oh, I'm so flippin' ready. What about lemon grab? I got this. Hey, Lemon Grab! Lemon Hope is, um, hiding in the microphone. He's gonna jump out as soon as the music starts. Better be ready. I will strike him down with my sound sword as soon as the first notes of the horrid music are played. He's ready. Okay, everybody. This is it. Remember, put all of your emotions into this. We gotta fix Finn's favorite record. This one's going out to Finn and Jake Investigations. We go in three. Two, one, and play! And cut! Thanks, guys. That's a wrap. We got what we need. We were loving awesome! Oh, that was totally hot. We were rocking out, man! Bimo was helping. Yay, Bimo! Lemon Hope is not here. Mm, unacceptable! What are they talking about? That was awful! Yeah, that was nothing like my record. It was a disaster! No way, it was exactly right. You guys forget we're using magical recording equipment. Just listen. Hey, Bimo, play that record. Yay! Finally! Dance party! Hmm, told ya. Yeah! All right! Boy, did we have some adventures. And it took a lot longer than it usually takes. But all in all, I'd say the first cases of Finn and Jake investigations were a success. You said it, man. We should do this again sometime. But not right now. There's only one thing I want to do right now. What's that, buddy? Dance, boy! I'm a top baby that can dance like a man. I can shake him up, Fanny, I can shake him again. I'm a top tootin' baby, I can punch him. <laughs> well, wasn't that a lot of fun? We should play both the Grables more often instead of just watching them. Grable Babel Grapes. Playing those Grables was as exciting as when Finn and Jake fought the giant mushroom with Billy's girlfriend, Kang. I hope you were playing attention. <laughs> Cause it's time to guess the theme. I know the playable Grables are a lot longer, Mabel, than our normal stories, so we'll take a few Grables to talk through your answer. What was the theme? for our five playable grapes. Good job. You got that on the first try. That's right. The theme of the playable grables was the five most powerful emotions. Fear, envy, anger, sadness, and love. The silly wizard guy was afraid he'd spend his whole life in the candy prison. The blue guy got to stay with Finn and Jake again, but he was envious that Finn and Jake had such a nice place to live. Lemon Grab said that the pranks that Finn and Jake played on him this time made him angry. Worse than when he was ruling the Candy Kingdom and when Finn made his pudding all fizzyable at the lemon dinner. 
The sword that Cinnamon Bun bought was supposed to make him happy, but it caused him nothing but grief after he bought it. And Finn had to find a way to fix the record his parents used to play for him because he loved it. Good job! That's it for this time, but maybe we'll play Mabel together again soon. Until then, though, I'll see you creepy glimmers on trial to flippin' the dial. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>